This is John Young. Today we're looking at a wet dry vac from Ryobi Tools. This is their 18 volt wet dry vac. The number on this one is P770. Now this uses the same batteries that all of their One Plus tools use. The 18 volt battery could be the lithium ion, it could be the NICAD, whichever. They're going to work on this because this is, I'm just going to pop this apart a little bit here for you. This is a battery operated, completely cordless, wet dry vac. Now take a look at this. I, I changed the video perspective so you could get a little bit better view of this because it's kind of big. It's not heavy. Don't get me wrong. This isn't heavy whatsoever, but it is a good size unit. This is about a six gallon wet dry vac here from Myobi, and there's a few features I want to kind of look at here um, to kind of point out to you. We've been using this quite a bit out here in our kind of office space, and if you are in the upper Midwest, you have these things called Asian beetles, and we've been using this to Whenever there's a nice warm day, the Asian beetles come out. We've been using this to get into corners and vacuum them out. For a battery operated, this has just about uh, electric power when it comes to sucking things up. Battery snaps in very quickly, very easily. And we have a ton of power, a ton of suction with this. I, I was amazed. I didn't expect it to have the amount of suction this does. I've used a couple of other shop vacs that were the battery operated running off the traditional cordless tool batteries. Nothing that I have used has the suction capability of this Ryobi. And what's really kind of neat about it is that it has this kind of 360 action going on with it. You see we've got the larger wheels. There's two large wheels and then there's two, let me tip this a little bit, two smaller wheels right there on the ends. So when I'm pulling this around behind me to go and get those Asian beetles in the corner, I can do that and this just follows and trails so incredibly well. I wish my big shop vac, my big, I don't know what I have, 20 gallon one over there, I wish this, that would pull as easily as this does. I come with a variety of, of, you've got a little crevice tool, you've got your extension, you've got your little piece here, and of course these are some standard size so you can go and get different different attachments and such at your, your Home Depot because that's where you buy this and you can buy your attachments there. Uh, it has a, the cord that, or the hose that comes with it. Cord, now there's no cord. This is battery operated. And of course you've got to, going to get the battery with it, but most of the time you buy things like this as a bear tool because I have these already. Now, another neat thing with this is that it has four latching spots all the way around. So you can go and get it lined up and set, and it actually latches down, and you've got four, so you're getting a nice even pull all the way around. I've seen some where, you know, it's just kind of sitting in there, or there's a couple of little plastic clips on the side. These are actual buckles. Very nice. Once we take the top off, now again, this has been used. I wanted to make sure this would work and we've been using it for a while before we did this video. So it's a little messy down here, it kind of has the bug smell. You'll see though that this has a very large, and it has inside the little floater for being a wet dry vac. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna look at this, but here's what I wanted to show you. The filter on this thing. Some of these filters are very small. This particular one, now it's kind of gross because we've been doing some things. So, You've got a lot of surface area. Some shop vac only have about this much of a filter, very short, about half of the space. We've got a much larger filter. And this particular filter will actually go and sit down. You see there's a little hole on the bottom. There's a little peg in the bottom of the shop vac and it goes down, it goes into that. And then you'll notice that there's a little bit of a taper here. That taper fits down into that filter. And then once I get it lined up, clamped in, it snugs it all down and now it is all sealed up in there so you're not going to have things getting past that filter. It's all going to be caught by the filter and dropped in there. And again, with a larger filter, this is going to last longer between having to dump and clean because it has more surface area. And it's all about surface area when it comes to shop backs and the power and how long lasting and how long they're going to keep up that high volume of, of suction. We'll put links in the description below, but this is from Ryobi Tools. It's a lot of, a lot of cool functionality with this one. If you're looking for a cordless shop vac, this is one you definitely want to check out. Again, links down below. You can get this at Home Depot. This is John Young here looking at the Ryobi cordless shop vac.